Hey, it's Sam on What Yacht To Do, and guess what? One of the heads on the Here's To Us is not holding water. All right, let's go to the forward head, and let's get this thing replaced, and we're gonna start a little stopwatch to see how long it takes me to do it. All right, here we are in the front head, and it's really looking disgusting, but this is not poop on there. It's just discoloration on that ball. It's been that way for some time, but now that seal is deteriorated and it's not holding water. So I've never done this before, so we'll get started with step one. Step one is to get this thing disassembled as much as we can. So first thing is to get that collar off, but before there, is we have the flush handle and on the back side of the flush handle we see a couple screws here we're going to take those screws out first once we have gotten those screws off of there it comes off fairly easy you can see this is the part that goes over the flush handle which i'll show you in a second or the flush mechanism and then this is the little plastic cover and those two screws go right into it just to use a number two phillips to get it off and we're going to organize those parts so when they go back on we're going to be able to look for them and they didn't fall down the toilet. Well, here's what it looks like once that plastic cover is off of there and you can see we have cut off the water that was step number zero and we're just going to make sure hey, we don't have any water pressure coming there but that little plastic cover will go on top of that and I've made a note of how that goes on and so Let's go on to the next step, which is taking off this little cosmetic cover, and then from there we're going to start to detach the bowl. So in order to get this cover off of here, some of the models, they just kind of rotate off of there. This one has a little bit of a screw in here. One screw, that seems like it's it. So we're going to carefully take that screw out. Again, a number two Phillips. And once I feel it loosen, we'll be able to take those parts off. But I'm carefully noting how that baby goes back on there. And of course, I'll have the video if I have to go back and do this again. So once that screw is out, these little two pieces come out of there real easy. And we're going to go ahead and put those up in the salon area and maybe give them a little good cleaning while they're out. All right, our next step is to get this stainless steel clamp off of here and then we have two clamshells, we're gonna be taking those off. Now one of the things I noticed is that this, according to the instructions, should be in the back. So somebody's replaced this before and didn't align it well and that's probably why that little collar, that cosmetic collar that was on there, wasn't lining up right so we're going to take this off we're going to use a 5 16th or 8 millimeter socket wrench get that stainless steel band clamp off of there i've got that stainless steel band clamp off there i'm just gonna leave that hanging here and the next thing is to get this collar off it comes in two pieces so what i'm going to do is i've got a little piece of blue painter's tape here that i'm going to put on there and hope it sticks or at least make a mark with a sharpie to make sure that that goes back in the same place. But I, again, I'm not really sure who did this before. Maybe the alignment wasn't just right. Um, I'm going to take a second look at that, see what it looks like when it comes out. But I'm noting what it looks like right now. Okay, that's what it looks like when these two pieces come off there, and I suspect they were misaligned as well. We're going to clean that up and do a little bit of further research as to how they should go on and get this back on right once we get it all put back together. All right, my next task is I'm gonna take this bowl off there, but before I do that, I am going to disconnect this because I can get to it because this is attached to this ceramic bowl and I have a place that I'm gonna put it and it's really right into the shower just to the left of me here. So I'm gonna detach this, take this off, and that way we'll be able to work without the hindrance of the bowl being attached. Okay, so we were able to loosen that clamp and gently pull out on it. I used a little bit of pressure, very light pressure with the pliers to kind of rotate it just a little bit to break it and then pulled off. And of course, water came out of here, but I was ready for 
with a old wash rag so no big deal next thing we're going to do is lift that baby off and set it over here in the shower already have that shower prepared with a big old towel back there and uh soak up any moisture or gunk so let's do that that rubber seal is really deteriorated you can kind of see here this is the older model of it but it's just deteriorated and we see the ball in here which we'll have to take so we're just going to dispose of this because we got a bright new one and the other thing we're going to do is kind of clean things up around here while everything is off so i'm electing to use some simple green because i like the way it smells and it does a really good job except for when i went around here there is some this little thing that's on the bottom here it's got some wavy lines in it so just a paper towel is not going to cut it so i got an old brush here in fact that's not real working real well so i think i'm just going to grab reb's toothbrush kind of use that i might even get her a new toothbrush what a guy i am all right look at how clean that looks maybe a little bit more touch up little places there but uh, right now it's looking good smelling clean at least on the floor and so the next thing we have to do is we got to get this ball out of here and so to do that there's a little shaft that goes in there but we got to get this pump off of there to be able to get into the inner spring which we're going to replace as well so the first thing we're going to do is follow the instructions and get these two screws off of here and of course they're in a place where there's not a lot of clearance so i've got to use my stubby screwdriver and just take it easy because it's plastic and when they go back on just be careful uh, we'll use the new screws because the medic is pretty picky about that using the new screws so i actually found that it does uh fit the 516 so we're going to use the ratchet and make it go a little bit faster to get those screws out of there all right we were able to get that pump off of there and you can see the two screws there laying on the floor and then the next thing is we're going to do is we've got to get this off because that's what has the shaft in it that spring loaded thing here so i'm going to go take another look at the instructions and go from there once you loosen that screw there that thing will come out and probably a couple different pieces you'll be able to take this handle off of there and we'll just kind of set that aside for now and we'll be taking a look at the new piece that will eventually go into there you can kind of see how that little valve shaft is going to go into that so next thing is to get this gross looking thing out of there and the major thing is to get that screw out with not dropping the screw into the tank or down the drain so to speak so we're going to be very careful with that so as you can see here the angle on the screwdriver is not that great so you really got to be careful get a good firm pressure in there so you don't strip that screw and really you know the caution of me not allowing that screw to go down there you can see that that ball valve is uh that half ball plastic piece is blocking down there so even if i did drop it it's not going to go down there so we'll get this screw out and then get the new piece in dispose of this looks pretty bad so i was able to get that screw out of there not drop it down not that easy to get it out the angle and then we're going to pull that rubber shaft out it's a it's actually a plastic shaft but the new one that's going to go in is going to be bronze so we're going to get that out of there next then we're going to get that half ball out of there by kind of flexing it together and get it out of uh there's a pin on that right side there we just have to pry it out of there and the new one's a little bit more flexible we can get that new one in but after we get it out of there we're going to clean everything up again so what i did here was just kind of get a screwdriver down in here and pry this out you can kind of see there's a little pin in here so next step will kind of be to squeeze this together and maneuver it out of there and then i think i'm going to go take a break and clean up my hands this is pretty gross I don't think it's poopy but it's really bad crime it's out of there and it's going into the trash and it's time for a refreshment break clean up freshen up i was able to get the new piece in there after i cleaned it up and uh still isn't aligned so uh, i'm going to be using a pliers on that left side and a uh 
screwdriver to kind of push that down and get it into the pinhole there. So uh, that's the technique I'm going to use. We'll see how it works. Got it lined up, just kind of snapped in there for me nicely. And you can see that pin went right in on the right side and then I just kind of lined it up. The next thing is we're going to put that shaft in there. But before we do that, we're going to put a little bit of silicone grease on there synthetic lube um, kind of a waterproof type deal so we'll do that we'll insert it and we'll put the screw on next so I got this super lube multi-purpose synthetic grease and uh, it should work just fine I'm gonna insert that in the hole and then carefully put that screw in again no big danger of the screw going down there because the ball there's right there if I drop it it's not gonna go anywhere so uh, Anyway, see how it goes next. We were able to get that shaft in there. It took a little bit of uh, persuasion with a hammer and a screwdriver, kind of on an angle on that, because of a good seal with those uh, rubber seals. There's two rubber seals on that shaft there. So much stronger than the last one, which was plastic. And so we were able to hammer it into there. Next thing is to be able to get that screw into that slot there and tighten it down. Once we got that screw in there on the left side and uh, just make sure you put pressure on it. It is going into plastic so don't over tighten it. Just want it to be snug so that that shaft will turn. Now we're going to rotate this and get that ball up this way. Okay, That's an important step because otherwise it's not going to rotate once we put the spring assembly on there. All right, we're gonna put that spring assembly on. And I think we're about three quarters of the way there. Now the real key is to make sure you get this thing lined up here. This handle, it's got a little notch on here. Kind of loose fit it and push this piece in until this piece here, and then you're gonna get that screw and screw that screw in tight. But again, remember it is plastic is going in there so you want it snug and then we'll be able to test out whether she's flushing. So I've got myself a little finger ratchet here and we're going to use that to kind of tighten that screw down rather than using something electric and over tightening it. Oops, I lost the video where I attached the pump to the cartridge. So I'm going to backtrack here and let you know is once you install this cartridge in there and the handle is seated and everything you're going to take your new pump if you're installing a new pump and use the new screws and it's going to go into that and you're going to tighten that down real well if you're not replacing the pump which i elected to do and these are just two spare parts that i have on hand for the other uh head in the here's to us you will take that new one and use the new screws and then put it on there so on the underside there as i put some silicone grease don't need a whole lot we're going to flip that back over where it says this side is up. We're going to align that hole. Kind of press it down in there. Fits down in there nicely. And the next thing is this one. It doesn't have a top or bottom, so it doesn't matter. That's just the item that's going to take the pressure from the, the bowl and put that on top of it. So next thing is put the ceramic bowl back on top of it. We're going to make sure that we connect the water there and then uh, we'll line it up, get the clamps on and I'll show you how that is. I did a little research, took a break on that and uh, show you that it was installed correctly. So we're going to try to put it back correctly and why it is the way it is. What we did was make sure that that was aligned and it looks aligned here, looks aligned back there. And we remembered to put that clamp on and we're going to put the fastener toward the back of it and I'll show you why in a minute here. So we got this all aligned, kind of got where this notch is in there. That looks good. And so the next thing is to put this collar on. So we really want that clamp toward the back and the reason is that the cosmetic mold that goes on around the base has a space for that clamp. 
and that's where it should be and that's why it really wasn't fitting when I took it off. The person who did it before uh, last uh, just put the clamp on on the front where it was easy to get to and uh, that was the issue. All right, the moment of truth. We'll see. She's been holding water for a while and let's see what happens when we flush it. Rev, would you care for a drum roll? You want me to do a drum roll? Yeah. Okay. There it goes. Nice going. All right, we got it. Yay. It's all done. All right, let's kind of recap what we did. We installed a new, what's called bowl seal kit, which was the main thing, but also that ball shaft kit and the cartridge that was installed as well. Now I thought I had everything ready, but I didn't have a few tools and so I was up and down and up and down and a couple of things that I didn't have was my stubby screwdriver and as you remember I had to use Rev's toothbrush so I guess I owe Rev a new toothbrush. But a couple of things that um, I did that were, well one thing that was kind of confusing, this is the old shaft cartridge that came out and you'll see this was the original design. Somebody may have changed the seal in uh, the toilet at one time, but they never changed this because this is the new one. I happen to have an extra one here and I'm gonna show it to you. So putting this in was a little bit different. You really have to screw this in tight and then you gotta get that valve on it real tight as well so that that handle is gonna be able to flush it. That took me a long time to do because of where it was mounted. I didn't have the leverage to get those screws in there. So I was back and forth with different tools, but I had all my tools here that I needed. Um, and so that's pretty much it. Um, you know, it's like I try to be as prepared as I can. I read the instructions on the back. I looked at a couple YouTube videos, how people did it, but no plan survives first contact with the enemy. In that case, down there, the enemy. So we had to, as uh, Clint Eastwood said, overcome, improvise, adapt from uh, Heartbreak Ridge. Maybe not in that order, but uh, we did it. We got it done. So uh, you can do it too. And uh, like Chevy Chase said at the end of Christmas vacation, I did it.